Yo, welcome to another vlog. Oh, dishwasher is working. Anyway, I wanted to show you the update on our ginger beer. We have two bottles. We have one that is really, really good. We have another one that's not so good, but I will tell you why. Look at this. I can't squeeze it. This one, easy. This one does not have lemon juice. This one is basically just ginger, sugar, uh, a little bit of sweetener, like one tablespoon, but basically just ginger, water, sugar, and the starter. We will open this, because we have to let some air out. We have to burp it, as they say. This one, on the other hand, has lemon, and I think the fermentation will take longer if it will even happen. I watched a video on this when it comes to making sodas with lemon. Apparently lemon slows down the whole process of fermentation, or carbonation rather. Uh, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. On average it takes at least two days longer than the normal, you know, soda. Okay, let's open it. I don't know how to freaking show... Okay, let's... <laughs> this hand. Sheesh! Ooh, the smell! Ginger! Oh my god! I will leave this to ferment at least two more days and then we can put it in a fridge. Nice! I like it! Good morning. It's nothing, nothing crazy, just some simple sheets, you know, that I had to write for the concerts for me and Luca. And I'm gonna go print that now. Got my sheets secured and the bag. I'm gonna go to my parents now to show you their place. I want to show you the finish of their renovation. I'm gonna include some clips from before, before and after, R rather more like whole process of the renovation. I would say that there have been in general quite some complication when it comes to their renovation. So I think it's fair to tell you everything about it. Not too much in great detail, but you know, step by step what we did, what has been done by workers, contractors, and the end result. Welcome to my parents' crib. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to really, you know, uh, start this section of the video. But what I was thinking is I will show you what was here before, and then I will show you the after, aftermath. The entrance, wooden door, and the ceiling was actually higher. Here is this lowered ceiling with the ceiling fan. I have to tell you, the ceiling fan is one of the best investments you can ever make. This house is built on a hill, right? So where I'm standing is ground level, but then when we go downstairs, downstairs will be the ground level, right? In summer, the lower area is quite cool and this fan, this ceiling fan is bringing all that air up to the sleeping areas. Now we're gonna go downstairs to the actual living area. I remember when you, same, you know, staircase, when you went down, you had wooden area wooden uh, walls, one door leading to the kitchen, another door leading to the living area, another door leading to... I don't even know what this place here was. I think it was pantry. And now we have kind of like a guest bathroom still in the make, still in the works. This will be shower, toilet, sink, and I think this right here will be washing machine. Very simple, very basic, extra bathroom, extra toilet extra shower if you need it, you know, in case you need it. Sometimes you have multiple people at the house, you wanna take shower, another person wants to take a shower as well. Now you can, simple. Okay, I don't even know how to really start this. I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing if I close my eyes and I imagine the place, this room, this whole area, how it was before. To the right, there was a wooden ceiling, wooden door, that would lead to the kitchen area. Kitchen area to the right of that, so kind of like hidden behind the wall, really small kitchen in a U shape. What, what else do I see? Uh -huh, okay, that kitchen has an open area leading to the eating area, 
but then there is also another area which is living area split behind a wall basically separated by a wall and then you have a big area big living area and then on the other side what we see what I see is a window but it's a small window because at the bottom of the window there's a half a meter maybe maybe a meter half a meter to up to a meter of a brick wall and on that brick wall window Where were the problems? This place, this renovation took three years altogether. If I'm not wrong, I think it took three years. The biggest problem, the biggest wish was to have a concrete floor. We threw out this concrete first time and the second time when the fuck up happened by that first contractor. There were three contractors. First one messed up majorly second one kind of finished but it wasn't perfect my parents said hey will you come back to fix to finish this product because it looked really nice i will also show you pictures kind of different than this but it was nice as well that guy just vanished then came back and he said that he's gonna remove all of the issues and remove the flooring that he has done to then get back to the original stage and now the third time that they put this concrete in, my parents are okay. This place is now entirely different. Let me show you. Anyway, moving on. This outside area, this flooring was basically bricks like this all over it and a lot of sand. We took all of that out, poured concrete in, and now this is what we have. This is not a finished product, more like a 50% halfway through. One thing that needs to be done in this place is wooden flooring. I'm gonna be covering the whole concrete, even though I really, really like this concrete. It's gonna be wooden, and then it's gonna continue up to this herb platform. So like from down here, up, to this herb platform. We're gonna have a seating area as well here on this herb platform. Lots of rosemary. It's been a day, I need to check if my mom has anything in the fridge, anything to eat, anything to drink, because I'm freaking thirsty. <laughs> Guess not, <laughs> I'm gonna find something else. Downstairs, you could call this a basement. This is a shelter. But now it's been repurposed as a wine cellar hanging out area, you know, keeping drinks and everything cool, nice and chilled. And yeah, here you go. But this is actually a shelter in case of like bombing or whatever, I'm assuming. So yeah, now uh, if you want to leave, you can actually go out here. See? Behind that bottle. Okay, let's find something to drink. What do we have? Just alcohol, dude. Vodka, limoncello, Aperol, wine. Ooh, what is that? Mom, whatever this is, I'm stealing it. Thank you. Thomas Henry Pink Grapefruit. Fruchtig Herb. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, this is actually, okay, it's quite sweet, but it has like a bit of a sour kick to it as well. Mmm, and grapefruit. Wow. It is a bit, it is a bit too sweet, but it's good. A little bit of ice wouldn't be bad. 
So yeah, this was our parents' place. A little bit of an update on the whole renovation. This is also the place where I recorded my music video for Joji. I'm probably gonna record more music videos just because the atmosphere is so clean. I like it a lot. Just have to work with lights and stuff a little bit more. Now one thing, it has now been day two that I was uh, editing a, a video and I ate Luca's uh, potato chips. I'm back at my favorite store Lidl. I'm gonna buy him potato chips that I ate. Okay, I got it. It took me an hour to get this because of the cashier being broken or something. Okay, got it. Okay, I'm home. I have to edit The Walking Dead. It's nine hours that I have to go through and edit. Honestly, if I'm completely transparent with you, I'm not really sure if this videos, the, the, the highlights from the stream's gaming videos, if they have any impact. I have to admit, I get a bit discouraged a bit demotivated when I upload it. It's, it took me so long and I don't know if it's reaching anyone. I don't know if people like it. I don't know if anyone new is gonna come out of it that they will stumble upon the video and will enjoy it. But let me tell you one thing, right? I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna finish it. And whether or not someone will watch it today, tomorrow or whenever in a couple of years, I will feel better about myself that I finished it, that I did it and that I finished it, that I uploaded it. That's the mindset that I'm going in with. Time to hustle, I guess. Time to grind. Wait, grind. Come, come. for tomorrow's concert. Maybe I'll try some acoustic set, play some violin and shall Lucas would be as well. Luca, Luca. Hey, good evening. We're back from the rehearsal. We couldn't film much during the rehearsal. It was really, really quick one, like 30 minutes. But I will make sure to record the actual um, concert, the actual performance, rehearsal before the performance and everything. Now I have to go sleep, so good night. Hey everyone, okay, we are packing, we are really in a hurry, we have to go fast. We have like 50 minutes to be at a location and then we take in the, you know, a van or something to, to the venue. Catch you later. For some random reason, my phone just completely shut down and then when it restarted, I wanted to, to have a pin code. I don't have, I mean, I have a pin, but apparently it's wrong, so I don't know, I'm without a phone now for the whole day. Look. <laughs> Luke is really <laughs> not happy. <laughs> he also had a really interesting uh, experience with his phone. Luca, what happened <laughs> with your phone? I was just packing stuff in the car and I wanted to put my phone in my pocket and because I have trousers on, it just fell out and then it dropped on the floor. On the positive side, it just um, broke in the security glass. Silver linings. <laughs> hey, there we go. I think that's, that's it. There you go. Are we all packed and ready to go. We're ready to do our sound check now. Everything is ready. Cello. Cello is ready. Everything, everything plugged in. And we're gonna test, test the sound. Okay. 
I don't know if you can see me or not, but uh, we are just minutes away from starting the concert. Me and Luca are waiting for seven songs, I think, before we go on stage and then we play um, four songs, acoustic, acoustic version of four songs. We're done. We're gonna have something to eat and then we're going home. It was a good concert. It was actually a bit of an improvisation overall, but it was really nice to get this main rehearsal before we go on a big stage next week. Good morning! Yo, what better way to start a day than to try our ginger beer probiotic drink? Luca, are you gonna test it as well? Yeah. Okay, come. I put this in the fridge overnight and now we'll see how it's gonna be when I pour this in. It's been fermenting, carbonating for five days outside on the on the shelf and I was opening it, uh, burping it as they say every day and now we're gonna, we're gonna try it, we're gonna test it. I expected a little bit more of the foam, you know, when you pour it like an actual carbonated drink, but let's see. Okay. Look over tried as well. It's very sweet. I think it's a bit too sweet. It has a very um, good ginger flavor, very good ginger flavor. And there's a slight um, burning sensation and slight carbonation, but I think it should be a lot more carbonated. Luca, try it. It's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. But it's very good. Like yeah. Maybe it's a bit too sweet, but not exactly. Because I mean, if I compare it to the industry, industry made one, yeah, it's the same sweet. It's better because it's more ginger, right? Yeah, I would say it's a lot more ginger. It's not so spicy. I would expect let's, it to be more spicy. All right, let's do one more thing. I'm gonna shake this whole thing and see what happens with all that um, being, okay. let's say, mixed in. Okay. Yeah, I think if it will be more carbonated, it would be much better. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Yeah, and now it's more spicy because of the... More spicy salmon. and less sweet. Yeah. Or we got used to it. It's okay. It's great. I mean, as a drink, this could be all, all already done, right? Yeah, yeah. But if one, we want to have like ginger beer properly, yeah. it has to be more, um, more carbonated. Yeah. Carbonated. Yeah. Okay, we will uh, keep testing, keep trying, and then uh, one day we make a better one. Cheers! Hey yo, I'm off to my parents, our dad is uh, making some lunch. Luca is picking me up with Alina. And yeah, let's go, let's have some food. Oh, <laughs> Hey yo, <clears throat> this time a little bit different outro. I'm practically wrapping up the vlog. 
I was just editing it like 50 minutes ago and decided I'm gonna go for a walk even though it's raining I just needed to go out get some fresh air. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching Thank you for supporting everyone if you will, you know, give it a thumbs up and all that Appreciate it. I will see you on the next one till then have a great week. Bye. Bye